Candace Owens, is finally on Lizzo's side. As we all know, Lizzo is facing a lawsuit at the present. Some of her former dancers have accused her of alleged sexual harassment and body shaming. Mind you, these ladies didn't come forward with these accusations until after they were fired. And this has raised questions as to what their motives are. I really like what Candace Owens had to say about it all. Let's take a look. Wanted to provide you an update on Lizzo because it seems that the media is really turning on her. She's having what pretty much happens in the Me Too movement where one person says something and then 20 other people step outside of amnesia and they're like, oh my God, Me Too, I was treated poorly by this person. And so now she's got people that she's worked with saying she wasn't that nice. It obviously has nothing to do with what she's being sued for. And it really does seem to me to be a pylon. Again, I am not a fan of Lizzo. I think that her fat acceptance movement has been toxic, but I'm also not a big believer that the karma of her saying be fat and be naked is that she should be wrongly accused of sexual harassment by dancers that are just upset because they got fired. Now her dancers are making the round of the mainstream media. This one particular dancer sat down with CBS. Let's hear what Ariana Davis has to say. Things that, you know, the other cast members could do um, and, you know, get away with essentially um, the dancers were not allowed to engage in any of that activity um, in terms of, in terms of like the, the um, false allegations that they had brought forth to us when we were on tour about us drinking before shows and things like that. Um, that was never the case. In fact, alcohol was never even allowed in our dressing room or on our rider, which is the food and drinks provided to us. Um, so it it's, was like literally impossible for us to even do that. But yet we were the ones who were blamed for drinking on the job. Um, and, um, it was stated to us by, you know, Lizzo that she was like, it doesn't matter if I'm doing it. It doesn't matter if the band or anyone or anyone else is doing it. It's like, you guys can't do it. So what she's just done is given us insight into what actually went down behind the scenes. And what actually went down behind the scenes is that obviously these dancers were reprimanded for drinking on the job. Starts out by saying, I just think that the rules here were more stringent. No, actually, those are pretty much the rules everywhere, but you can't drink on the job. Even if you're a dancer, even if the person that you're dancing for, and it sounds like Lizzo did, drank on the job. She wanted to be a cool boss. She wanted to drink with her employees. She wanted to take them to, to nightclubs in the, in the sex di district in Amsterdam, and now she's paying for all of that. And then when she wanted them to sober up and just to dance, they didn't want to do that. And so she told them not to drink. Management told them not to drink, and now they're suing her by claiming that actually we face sexual harassment and we were called names and also uh, white management, as they've listed, which is absurd, absurd in the suit because they're going to hit every buzzword. They're going to make it racial. They're going to make it about them being fat. and They're going to make it about whatever it takes so that they can get a check because they've learned that. This is what we've learned in the age of social justice. We have learned that all you have to do as we've talked about this entire show, is decide what kind of a victim you are. Are you a victim because you're black? Are you a victim because you're a woman? Are you a victim because you're Jewish? Great, put it in a lawsuit, and then everyone will have to not examine the facts, not examine what was actually said, not examine what was actually done, but immediately have an emotional response. It's utterly foolish. Lizzo did, in fact, enter in um, a comment on her Instagram. She responded, rather, on her Instagram, and here is what she said. She wrote, These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I am not the villain that people and the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I'm very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect that we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. 
I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out and support to lift me up during this difficult time. I am going to end this by just saying, I believe, Lizzo, that version of events sounds correct. You live in a world now where young people that are coming up are hyper-privileged. They believe that they deserve the world for a minimal amount of work. Why can't I drink on the job? This is supposed to be a fun job. You're Lizzo. Your brand is fun. And then when they get fired, they're bratty. They want to sue you. They want to see if they can get a check. And typically, management folds. And I think that in this circumstance, these girls are going to get some sort of a check. She legally fired them. She probably rightfully fired them. And yet still, because they have to kowtow to this bizarre liberal world that we're living in, or I should call it an anti-liberal world that we're living in, they're probably going to end up winning in the end. But I hope that people realize what's happening here, which is simply a financial shakedown from a bitter former employees. That's my take on it. What I like about Candace Owens in this instance is how she mentions that she's not a fan of Lizzo, but she believes that she's innocent and doesn't deserve to be falsely accused. Unlike a lot of people, Candace didn't allow her personal feelings against Lizzo to affect what she truly feels about the lawsuit. She could have very well sided with Lizzo's former dancers, just because she doesn't like her. But Candace doesn't do that, because right is right to her. And I totally agree with Candace. I too feel that their motives behind the accusations is money. I feel that they are bitter because Lizzo fired them. And they came up with this plan to tarnish her name and to get a check, which is wrong, and I hope that they do not get a dime. Well guys, those are my thoughts on the Lizzo lawsuit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you will be notified when I upload another video.